Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to one of our apiaries where today we're going to use our oxalic acid sublimator to treat the bees with their winter treatment for the varroa mite. If you can hear some uh, rifles firing in the background, it's just the landowners chasing some of the local peasants around, I suspect, so uh, we'll not pay too much attention to them. Pheasants, that's what they're called, not peasants, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think there's a shoot on locally, so um, please excuse any gunfire that you hear. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to treat the colonies here and at several other apiaries with oxalic acid and we're going to use a sublimation method which is a vaporization of the uh, oxalic acid dihydrate crystals and we've got our ProVap 220 uh, sublimator which we sell on our website so if you're interested in using a sublimator then do have a look at our website for the details of that and I'll put a link down in the description below. So uh, we've set the hive up uh, and what that means basically is that we've blocked up the front entrance uh, with a piece of foam, we've uh, put in the varroa floor and also sealed the back of the hive with another strip of foam to stop the oxalic acid vapour from drifting out at the bottom. We're going to get the vaporizer switched on now and uh, get it up to temperature and then we'll take the camera over to the hive and I'll show you how the whole process works. So the setup that we have is uh, a sack barrow and on the sack barrow we've got a 90 amp hour leisure battery and to that we've got connected a inverter so that we can put our 13 amp plug straight into the inverter and that then connects through to the ProVap sublimator and the 90 amp hour battery should be more than sufficient for a day's worth of sublimation around most of our, our sites we we'll probably only do 30 in a day, so that's going to be plenty powerful enough. We've got it strapped to the uh, sack barrow just to be able to travel around the apiary and, and keep everything neat and tidy together. And we've also got our um, sublimation bowls ready with the oxalic acid dihydrate crystals already portioned into them. We've got two bowls. Uh, you get two bowls with the sublimator so you can use one and then get the other one set up ready to go. Uh, looking at all of the information that's out there about sublimation it appears that 2.25 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate is about the right quantity to get the maximum amount of efficacy in removing varroa and the least amount of mortality with the bees. So uh, that's what we're using. We're using 2.25 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate and we've got all of our protective gear ready. So goggles, face mask, I've got a heavy duty glove because the, the base of the oxalic acid sublimator is going to be around 230 degrees. So you don't want to be touching that with either bare hands or just rubber gloves or uh, nit nitrile gloves that you would normally use for beekeeping. So we've got a, a heavy duty glove for that and I'll show you how the system works uh, for the video and we'll talk it through because this is also going out as a podcast. So the next thing to do is to get ourselves ready beside the hive, get all of the protective gear on and I'll show you how the ProVap works with the um, oxalic acid bowl. So we're all ready to start sublimating this particular colony. We've got the uh, oxalic acid bowls ready with the prerequisite amount of oxalic acid dihydrate in them, so it's 2.25 grams. Our ProVap 220 is up to temperature, so 230 degrees. Heavy duty glove, because this is going to be really hot, and what we're going to do is turn the entire unit over and push it down onto the bowl so that the seal actually forms a seal over the, uh, the actual heating element we need to push down on that so we need uh, a fairly decent glove. The mask we've got is rated for organic acid vapour so it's really important that you don't just use a dust mask that you use a proper mask that's rated for the vapours that you're going to potentially have floating around you. Obviously that we hope that most of them are going to be trapped inside the hive but it's really important that you take this really seriously and look after yourself and take your personal health and safety uh, uh, as a, a priority really. 
And then finally just some goggles, just in case the vapour comes up, uh, just to protect my eyes. I don't want the, the acid vapours going into my eyes, so I've got some ski goggle type uh, goggles here. Again, rated for use with this equipment that we're, we're about to use. So we'll bring the camera around to show you how we actually put the bowl onto the unit and then to the back of the hive to show you the actual process itself. So that's a really quick and simple way of getting the oxalic acid treatment into the bees uh, for our winter treatment. We're going to carry on and complete all of this apiary and then we'll head off to some of the others and, and treat all of our bees now. So the next site we're going to is our uh, Happy Valley Honey Polystyrene Langstroth Hive site and we're going to demonstrate using the oxalic acid sublimator there. We've fitted some eeks to the hives and so it'll be interesting to see exactly how that works with poly hives. So we'll catch up with you in just a few minutes when we're at the new site. So we've moved across to the apiary where we have our Happy Valley Honey Honey Pour Polystyrene Langstroth hives and we've set these up with an eek beneath the brood box so we've got a wooden eek. I, I didn't want to use the oxalic acid sublimator straight through the polystyrene because uh, it's going to be really hot and will probably damage the polystyrene so we've created some wooden eeks and these have the same hole drilled through them and we're now ready to treat this particular apiary with the oxalic acid sublimator. We're all set up ready to treat this particular hive now uh, and one of the good things about this particular hive is that it has the clear cover board so we can take off the roof and actually have a look at the oxalic acid as it comes through the sublimator into the brood box and flows around the cluster. I, I don't know what size cluster we've got in here but hopefully they're going to be big enough to go through the winter and uh, take this oxalic acid treatment uh, hopefully clear off some of the varroa and uh, leave them ready to come through into the spring. So let's get the rest of the equipment ready again as we did in the previous apiary and then we'll get the camera down onto the cover board just prior to me putting the oxalic acid sublimator nozzle into the eek and treating the hive.
So that's worked out really well. The treatments on all of those colonies has gone fine. Uh, we've got the oxalic acid into them and hopefully they're now going to drop a load of row mites, uh, certainly from the point that we treated them with the apistan in the autumn. Uh, I'm hoping that now we've got the minimal amount of varroa going into the spring. It's turned quite windy today, as you might be able to tell, uh, but we're going to head off to another apiary, you know. One of the things I noticed about the Happy Valley honey uh, floors is that they don't have a varroa insert, so quite a lot of the vapour did come out of the bottom in a couple of them. I think the prevailing wind must have just got underneath them and pulled some of the vapour out. But those that we treated uh, all got a fair dose of the oxalic acid vapour, so hopefully that's going to work out well. Finally, please do take care. Uh, the mask and the goggles that I wore today, has worked. they've worked really well. Uh, I'm quite happy with those. Uh, at one point uh, on one of the hives, I tried to put the nozzle into the, uh, the eek and missed the eek and got a quite a fairly large cloud of oxalic acid vapour almost engulf me and if I hadn't been wearing the mask and the goggles I think I certainly would have inhaled uh, a fair amount of that vapour and that's going to do uh, no good at all so please take care uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, please do sign up subscribe uh, hit the little uh, bell symbol to get alerts uh, check out our Patreon page where you can get lots more content. We also have our podcast which comes out each week and also there's the Facebook group and you can catch up with us on social media as well. If you've got any questions or you're interested in the ProVap then please do fire me a message and I'll leave all the contact details in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching.